So many good memories, Mike. I don't even know how we put that piece together because you've, I mean, thousands of great memories like that you've witnessed. We all know that it's a fraction of what so many of us have seen, Michael, and and uh, uh, that's why it makes our sport, in my mind, the greatest sport in the world. And when we did that, you know, I've called people a lot of things at the finish line, as you know. But when this next interviewee comes on, it's the first time I ever said, when someone hit the finish line, you are the most beautiful Iron Man finisher ever. It just came out. Harriet Anderson lives outside of Santa Rosa, California. She'll be 85 in two weeks. On the video, I called her 79 when she finished because that was the age up. So she was 78 in 2004 and came back and did it again at 79. Guess what? That's why I'm slowing down. I don't want Harry. I want Harry to be able to understand me. <laughs> We've got her live right now. Harriet Hello. Anderson. Hello, Harriet. Hi, Mike. Oh, you look absolutely wonderful. Look at all those medals and posters behind you. By the way, everybody, Harriet has done Kona 22 times, and she's podium 13 times. Won her age group 13 times. How fantastic is that? So Harriet, you're going to be 85 in two weeks, and you're still going strong. What is your secret? I think just trying to exercise every day, eat right, stay healthy, and just enjoy life. So tell us a little bit about 1989. You did a half Ironman, and then you qualified for Kona. And you came to Kona in such a historic year, 1989. Tell us a little bit about your first Ironman. Well, it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. The conditions <laughs> were just perfect. There was no wind because I had practiced going to Haviv and it was windy. There was no wind that year. And so when I finished, I thought, oh, my God, this isn't that hard because I really expected it to be much harder. But I learned that the next year it was a little different story. <laughs> But 89 well, when you start, yeah, and when you started this game of Iron Man, this great sport, you were in your 50s, and you said you must have an endurance gene in your body. What do you mean by that? Well, I was just able to keep going. I didn't, I wasn't really fast, but I just was able to keep going. So uh, when you did finish, uh, that Iron Man that was on the video, and even the next year, because the next year you crashed, and you didn't know whether or not you're going to finish. You got back on the bike, you ran on in, you actually finished with like three minutes to spare. Was that probably the time of all your Iron Man racing? You had real trepidation about finishing after that bike crash. Um, yes. I was, there was a couple of other times that was kind of doubtful. Um, the time, a few years before that, I had broken my collarbone seven weeks before the Ironman. And I really didn't know if I could finish, but I had a wonderful sports medicine doctor and he got me back in shape. And I was worried about the swim because I hadn't swam for six weeks. But I finished the swim, but I was pretty slow coming in on the run. But George on the motorcycle, came up to me oh, a couple miles before the finish and said, Harriet, you're the last person that can possibly finish, but only you have a 50-50 chance. So he told my daughter to tell her to make your mother run faster. And that was really <laughs> hard. But I was able to finish, I think it was about 30 seconds before midnight. Yeah, and it was always great seeing Linda, your daughter there, your husband Gary at the finish line, welcoming you on in. I had said in the video, and I still believe today it was the loudest I had ever heard a finish line crowd. Do you remember that cheering as you were coming in? I do, because I was about 400 meters from the finish and someone said, you only have two minutes to finish. I thought, oh my goodness. So I tried to go as fast as I could to finish and I did. Oh my gosh, you are, you are simply amazing and an inspiration to everybody. What, we've got so many age groupers out there working and working out, and you're staying in shape. Harriet, what advice would you have to everybody out there to get through what we're going through right now? I just, if you have the desire to do it, just keep training. 
because a few it's I didn't, we never thought that I would be doing something like an Iron Man, but I had the desire and the will and just the determination to finish because my goal wasn't for time, but was to finish. Well, that was one of the most beautiful goals you've ever had in your life because you thrilled us in Kona 22 times and we are some of the luckiest people on earth to have witnessed your finishes, Harriet. Well, it was wonderful to hear your voice every time, too, because you started in 1989 also. So we've kind of gone through Iron Man's together. So I remember once I brought you up on stage for the awards ceremony and you whispered in my ear, do you know we started together? And at first I didn't know what you meant. And then I go, oh, yeah, 89. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> well, Harriet, take care of yourself. Love to the family. Uh, you are an inspiration to us all. And uh, will I ever see you at a start of a 70.3 or an Ironman finish line again? No, you see me just as a spectator. <laughs> well, I, you can stand right next to me all day. How's that? <laughs> Great. Harriet Anderson, be well. We love you. Aloha. Thank you. Oh, yes, absolutely beautiful. Does that... You know, that might be being able to talk to her guys, one of the best things that's happened uh, to me this year and, and talking to her on the phone a, a few days prior here. I just, we, we are lucky to have her in our sport. Is that just amazing? That's the truth, Mike. I mean, incredible history. Uh, her first Ironman, if I'm doing the math right, at age 55, and then all the yes. way through to now, great stuff. So inspiration and so just so awesome. What a great outlook. Uh, we really appreciate all these awesome interviews you're giving us, Mike, especially Harriet.